This is an example thinking about seasonality and the sampling frequency. So here we'll imagine we're looking at some sort of retail sales, either for a particular company or industry in the United States. Uh, and in the US, there's a big uh, increase in retail sales uh, sort of between Thanksgiving and Christmas holidays. So if initially we look at quarterly data, you might see some pattern like this. We have Q1, Q2. So Q1 being January, February, March. So these are calendar quarters, not fiscal quarters. Uh, Q2 being uh, April, May, June, uh, maybe quarter three is July, August, September, and then Q4 is where it jumps up a lot because that's October, November, December. And then if we look at the next year, oops, did not leave myself as much space as I meant, but you know, it'll be a little bit different, um, but again, it'll jump up a lot at the end in Q4. So you can see there is seasonality in the sense that there's this repeating pattern where every fourth quarter there's a jump up, but then it comes back down again. If instead we aggregated these two calendar years, change to a different color, and we just average here, maybe we get something like that for the first year, and then the second year we'd see is pretty similar because both the first year and the second year include that quarter four with the Christmas season. So when we do annual, now we don't see any seasonality. If instead we had done the opposite and disaggregated to, let's say, monthly, uh, we would still see, I'm not sure what it looks like, but something like this where, you know, October is not that much higher, but then December is really high and November is pretty high. Um, so we would again see uh, seasonality at monthly or certainly any lower level, weekly, daily, etc.